welcome to my blog today. In this video, I am just doing a few random things around the house. If you've watched before, you know I've been working on a bathroom that I recently had renovated and I am still working on it, sadly, but I do make progress. So I'll be sharing that with you today. And also I do a little bit of gardening and even mention a really great zucchini recipe. So be sure and watch. If you aren't already a subscriber, I invite you to do so now. It's free and easy. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got going on in that bathroom. This is kind of the state of my bathroom that has been finished but I just have to put the finishing touches on it. I did just get a new mirror. This is the back of it and the problem is it is not a good quality mirror. Not something I would recommend but I'm going to see if I can put the um, nuts and bolts that came out back in and tighten this one and maybe salvage it. It was intended to go on this wall as you walk in so that you could get a full length view of your outfit. But I will have to probably remove that little light fixture. Uh, this little light and crate can go, but that was a new little table that I just got in and I just hung these old curtains as the um, kind of the shower curtain. There is still an actual liner in there. But I want to put these tassels around it and try to make it look a little more presentable. So that is what I'm working on today. And this is me. Don't know how presentable I am, but. That is my project for the morning. So I'm going to take you along with me as I try to get a few more things in order in here.
well. So if you can fold your fabrics, in particular curtains, into the position you want and hold them there for a bit, then it's going to make it easier for them to fall into that pattern. So I'm just, obviously this isn't the way I want it to look, but I do want these bins in it. So I'm just going ahead and tying it back so it can kind of get used to that fold and then it will hold, uh, look much prettier when it's held back by the ties. can go up higher so you know it's not perfect it's not um, got a custom look which I could make if I wanted to put the time into it but for the amount of time I've spent for the amount of money I've spent I'm okay with it I think it'll look cute once the tie backs are on but y'all have to let me know what you think this is literally the worst mirror I've ever seen. It is wobbly. The frame even tends to bend just when you're holding it. And the stand is not good at all. So I think I'm probably going to try leaning it. But I want to make sure it has good cleats, uh, cleats on the bottom. And Yeah, it takes too much room with the stand out. So, this is what it looks like without the stand. It would be really nice if it could be adhered to the wall because then it wouldn't be in the way of the drawers. But, I don't know that I feel real confident in that. Let's see if I can. These things, as you notice, aren't even. That one on the right is sideways and it's missing a bolt or something. I'm not sure that it would hold. So, the lean is the best we're gonna be able to do. Now, in all fairness, it did only cost, well, you know, I think it cost $169. So, maybe that's all you get for $169. Okay, so using these little things, I do have to wait an hour before I can put these up. So I will leave that for a little bit later. I was looking to see what drawers had been lined, and then I want to try to hang these. I'm not sure that they look very quality. And these are the actual posters from the Chanel factory collection that is a year or two old now and I have the pink one and the green one and I put them in very very cheap frames that I got on Amazon and as you can see the plexi glass or whatever it's called uh, is kind of bowed so I don't know those might look here or I could do one over here and one in the little toilet closet. Or I could do two there. I could do one here. Don't really know. I'm not sure if these are too much color, the wrong color. I'm still trying to decide on the mirror at this elevation. It is. 
too low, if that makes sense. So, uh, you can see, so since it's the same height as the hooks, it just looks short. So the options would be to find something to put underneath it, like a little stool, or to try to hang it on the wall. I do think that might actually hold if we could affix it to the wall. And tape is the best way to pick up all those little styrofoam pieces. That Just a less aggravating way to collect them. I'm not really sure why they even put a kick, kick pleat, a kick, kick stand, not a kick pleat, on that because it is so flimsy that it really it would be dangerous, to be honest, to use that soon. I will see what my husband thinks when he gets home. Okay, I was going to show y'all my little hack to keep the shower liner out of the way. Of course, this, when I get the tie back on, it will come more here, so this will be totally hidden. But I did just use a binder clip from Office Supplies to hold that back, and that'll, of course, be real easy to take off when you go to take a shower. And then once the curtain is dry after a shower, it will be out of the way. And of course, I will try to find one smaller and not black so it doesn't stick out so much. But I think I do have a gray one somewhere that would be perfect. Chanel pieces to figure out what to do with. Same with the mirror and over here got the little rug, the table, a shower curtain and toilet closet. So I'm going to come back in a little bit and put the tassels on the uh, actual curtain part of it and see how that looks. But for now that is it for this restroom. I made the absolute best zucchini tart last week and it is from the Pepperidge Farms website. It's just a phyllo dough, some mozzarella, parmesan, tomato, zucchini, more parmesan. For the flavorings there is fresh basil, fresh thyme, and salt and pepper and I believe an egg in there. And y'all, I haven't served it to anyone who hasn't loved it yet. So if you have zucchinis or tomatoes you're trying to use up, this is an excellent recipe and very easy to make.
Every now and then, I hear thunder in the distance. But I wanted to come check my tomatoes. I have so many little blooms on my tomatoes, but not a single tomato. So I'm not sure if that means there are no bees. Or that I need to fertilize them. Hmm. Or something else is going on. Hello, cutie. <laughs> Little weed. over here and check on these zucchini. Oh, oh, look at those bad guys right there. Makes me so mad. Look, they're everywhere. Mm. So, this is my chive. And my kale, my kale has done so good this year. And then those little devils are just everywhere. I had some actual zucchini growth that I bet. Of course, I love agave because it just survives almost anything, although that looks pretty darn dry to me. A couple of more agave. And then I had some beans. And they got eaten. So, I don't think there's a single bean that has grown. The best one out there. Out there. Come on, Archie. is but it looks like a leaf with legs it literally looks like a leaf with legs that is it for me for this week 
Thank you for being here and I will see you back next week with another new video. Until then, have a great week. Bye. Thank you.